Welcome back to In the Garden. Today I am joined with my good friend Austin from Grange Co-op and today we're talking about web worms. Now I don't really know a whole lot about web worms but they seem kind of pesky. They, so absolutely they are pesky take and care of them. they are destructive. Um, so web worms what they are they're these little furry caterpillars that come about every four years. They have a four-year cycle. They go into dormancy for a while. Currently, we are on our fourth year, so webworms are in abundance. They're all over the place. They're caught. They're wreaking havoc. Um, so let's talk about how to get rid of them. Uh, really, there's not really any good ways to prevent webworms. They just kind of come as they go. They come and go. Um, so I brought along a couple options for us to take care of. I got some sprays here that we can use. Um, the most effective are going to be Spinosad, BT, and Seven. Uh, they kill pretty much on contact. The spinosad does have to be consumed most times by the webworm in order to kill them. Uh, what you'll do is you'll mix these concentrates with water, put them in a sprayer, and then go hit them with that spray maybe twice and it should knock down their nest within a week. All right, so how does how would someone know if they have a web worm issue in their garden? So web worms are very, very obvious. You can see them, they form these massive webs that can cover pretty much an entire tree. Um, around here, they mainly attack oaks and madrones and other soft-leaved uh, trees. Um, they're very obvious, like I said, big webs. There's tons of little worms, very hard to miss them. All right, so, and you said that, does Grange Co-op do a service where they can take care of uh, webworms? Unfortunately, the Grange does not have something like that where they can have an employee go take care of it. Um, it is pretty easy to find. Even just a landscaper can do it, or you can even just do it yourself. It's very easy. Which is why we have these great products to get rid of them. All right, so do you have any other, anything else you want to highlight about webworms or maybe other bugs they attract? Um, they tend to attract yellow jackets and wasps. That's only because they are an abundance of food for them. So it's not, it's not a surprise to see yellow jackets, wasps, hornets flying into their nest, snatching those worms up and carrying the entire worm back to their nest. All right. Well, if you believe you have a web worm issue in your garden or you want to, you know, take some preventative measures, you can check out these products at a Grange Co-op. Or, of course, if you want to learn more information, you can head to our website at kdrv.com. Thanks so much for joining us in the garden.